Yo, what is up everybody? It is a degenerate scumbag, Maddie Smokes here, and I hope everybody's having a fantastic day so far. So, today, we're going to be looking after the TikTokers. I'm going to defend the TikTokers. I know. How things have come full circle, I have absolutely no idea. So basically, if you guys live under a rock, there's this huge TikToker, and her name is Charlie D'Amelio. Basically, everybody knows about her. Well, she's, you know, kind of has this controversy around her. There's this blast going towards her. So there's this guy named Perez Hilton. Nobody knows who he is, but he gets a couple thousand views on his YouTube videos. So basically me, he's been on the internet for a very long time. Like, a lot of people know of him. Just not the new generation. I'll just drop my vape. So obviously just not the new generation on TikTok. So I'm going to, to defend Charlie D'Amelio. Today's episode is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. If you guys don't know what Raid Shadow Legends is, let me explain it really quickly. So Raid Shadow Legends is a mobile and desktop role-playing game and you can literally have hours of countless fun on. So I've been playing it for a couple weeks after I hit, up, hit them up to sponsor this video. And I used to play a lot of CSGO and League of Legends and all them, um, and, it, and I still do. But CSGO, the one thing that I always loved, it was opening crates. So in Raid Shadow Legends, they have these things called shards where you have a chance to unlock any champion that they have in the game. And they have hundreds of champions. It's ridiculous. So I've been opening charts and I ran across this guy. So if you guys want to play, you know, there's a new player program at the moment where I have a link of my own where if you sign up using my link, 50,000 silver as well as a free epic champion with the new player program if you use my link down in the description to download it. I also want to show you guys my favorite champion. Look at this dude. This dude is crazy, alright? Shoots electricity. Doesn't give a damn. So thank you, Ray, for sponsoring this video and uh, let's get on to the video. Yeah, so basically I heard of this at first from Drum Alert, so shout out Keemstar. If you guys know, I've been going to the Hype House here and there every once in a while. I haven't met Charlie yet, I met her sister Dixie, met Chase, I met all of them, super good guys, and girl. So basically the whole controversy started when the girl named Lizzo, everybody knows Lizzo, she's a, a musician or an artist, whatever the fuck she wants to be called, it's this chick. So basically she filmed a TikTok saying, well, why does TikTok delete my videos every time I'm in a, a bikini or every time that I have revealing clothing? And her fans took it upon themselves to think about it and go, hey, who's the biggest person on TikTok right now and is just so happens to be in the Bahamas? So it was Charlie. So everybody went into Charlie's you know, comment and started flaming her and everything. And then Perez Hilton even comes and he comments as well. My question is why are these fucking old men commenting on a 15 year old girl in a bathing suit anyways? So this all went to Twitter. Perez Hilton, you know, fucking started tweeting about Charlie and shit. And the funniest thing about this is that Charlie actually clapped back because Charlie's a fucking savage. And you know, since Charlie clapped back, I thought I would take it upon myself to go look at Perez Hilton's content and kind of just understand what, what what he does. Just for all of you to understand that this man has been on YouTube since 2007. That's literally a, a year after it came out. So this man is a big fucking boomer. And he posts like three times a day, like minute long videos, which absolutely, like, it's just like drama. He, like, he's just trying to stir up some shit. And the creepiest thing about this is that he actually just made a video two days ago called Expose Charlie D'Amelio's Father and His Disgusting Past. So I'm going to take a look at this video. It's only a minute long, so we can, you know, maybe crack a couple jokes at this Perez Hilton guy. So I, I go right onto it. Obviously, I get a fucking juicy ad. I, lo I love that for me. I love that for Perez. Tea time! And yes, we're talking Charlie D'Amelio. And she was gyrating, moving in a very sexual adult way. This man is literally sexualizing a 15-year-old. Do you guys not understand that? This guy is literally a child predator, bro. I will- I- dude. This is so disgusting. So there's this trend going around on TikTok where it's th this dance, I guess, and it, it, it is kind of like, you know, it's not PG rated. But why is this old man watching Charlie D'Amelio's content and thinking about her doing sexy moves? My guy, I understand that, you know, you're a little bit heated that you've been on the internet since 2007 and don't have the hype around your name like Charlie, but that doesn't mean you need to sexualize a 15 year old for 5,000 views. I think Charlie's a sweet girl and talented. My real issue is with her parents. <laughs> now this man's like, yeah, she's a sweet girl, awesome girl, but I have an issue with her parents. Why don't you just mind your own fucking business, bro? Honey, I just found out that Charlie's father was arrested for drunk driving just a few years ago. So he finds this article about her dad, uh, you know, drinking and driving, which is not okay. I'm not saying drinking and driving is okay by any means. But you need a little bit more of, you know, factual things to back up this statement that he's a bad person. This explains so much. 
<laughs> and then he, he begins to explain that it explains so much. What does that explain exactly? I don't see anything wrong with Mark and I, I think her, I don't know her mom's name. But I know Mark. And I honestly don't see anything wrong with them. They're very supportive of both of their daughters and they help honestly all these TikTok kids out. And I don't I don't see a problem with them. I don't know if he's a, a horrible human being or his disgusting past. Anyway, so that's been the drama this week. I hope you guys did enjoy. It's been your boy Matty Smokes, and I hope everybody has an amazing day. My merch is down in the description below if you guys want to cop some. Um, I also have my Snapchat, my Instagram, my Patreon, my Cameo, all of my social media stuff. Follow me on Instagram for some juicy content, you know, me posing all up like TikTok vibing. That, oh my god, bro. I'm actually a boomer. So follow my Instagram. Anyways, I also have my email for business inquiries. So everybody check out Ray Chattel Engines as well. I have so much to say at the end of this video, but I love you guys so much and thank you for supporting me and thank you for watching my videos every day. Peace.